Good morning, Internet. Hi, guys. My name is John, and welcome to Adams Family Homestead. Today on the farm, we've been working pretty hard the last, well, all month, really. But today, we're going to kind of take it easy. We got a special project we got to get done. Uh, I have some uh, extra gourds, um, and uh, I got to go get a, another pole. And we're going to put up a gourd pole today because... Uh, I have friends that have already seen scouts in our area and we need to get this done so that when they do move in they'll find our new gourd pole we already have one and it took a couple years for them to start coming to it and uh so we want to we want to put up another one because we just enjoy sitting out on the porch and watching them. so let's uh let's get to it and follow along where are we going we are going down to Daddy's and get a gourd pole to put some new gourds on because we have one gourd pole and it's taken about three years to get some hardening stuff in here. So we want to put up another one because last year we had more martins than we had gourds. He has some extra? Yeah, he has like four extras in the wheel. So that's where we're going. You know, I ain't just don't know. Right. Where's the cows? I don't think they may not have any cows in here. Yeah. 
I wonder if that little round one right there would hold the birdhouse. That's why I was getting this one. Oh, uh, that one won't be too big, you don't think? Well. Keep that in the truck. You gonna ride out there and hold it? Are you really? No. Huh? No. Yeah. Is it gonna stay? Yeah. Why would it not stay? Well, what's holding it? <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm.
Hey guys, this afternoon I'm going to show y'all how we make prepare these gourds for our new to us gourd pole. And all you need for this is a cordless drill, two inch hole saw, and a piece of wire to clean out the inside. And a lot of people make this more complicated than it really needs to be. They worry about the angle you drill the holes and all that stuff but typically what I do is I just drill straight on and I just drill high enough that the one the baby Martin's hatch that they can't fall out they have to get over this lip it's about like that much and that's all there is to it and then we'll wire onto our gold pole and put the pole up and we'll be ready for this year so basically all I do as I come up here, I put my drill in the right direction. And that's all there is to it. And then up here, I'll drill a small hole, right, on each side. Just kind of eyeball it. straight then we'll just take our piece of wire which I've just bend the hook on it right and then we'll just break out the inside here you cut the holes and I'll rake out the inside and we're gonna let Holly rake out the inside Jeffy, you want to help? just like that and I don't really worry about getting it all out, just mostly the seeds. Because they will use some of that paper material for nests. Basically, I just want to get out most of the seeds. Because according to my dad, in May... You leave that? Yeah. I try to get most of the big pieces out. Okay. About like that. And then I will take and pop that off. It's so dry, I may have to get some. We'll get some clippers and pop those off because this knife is dull. And that's basically all there is to it. So now I'll drill the holes. Holly will do the cleaning. Gee, hey, imagine that. Me doing the cleaning. And all I do is usually do this. Just kind of bump around pretty good. Well, we're going in May, April and May, we're going to start our seeds and then we're going to plant them in our garden. And then we'll have gourds in about two years. We'll harvest them and then we'll hang them up to dry.
And the only drawback is keeping the crap out of the hole saw. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you, Holly wanted to do one, so they're not hard to do. She's just gonna gently drill a hole in right there. All right. Then she's gonna get right on the other side of it and drill a hole in that one. Okay. Now, so on this side, right? Oops, sorry. Right here. You're not over my leg. Hold on. Right there. Right there. Hard. Fast. Pull it out. I broke it. You can't easy do it. It cracked. Put, hold your drill up off of it. Now turn your drill on. Now push it down. That's all there is to it. It cracked. Does that matter? It'll be okay. Here. That one's broke. It'll be alright. You do that. That's dirty. Well, that's the last one. Oh. And she's just going to stick her wire in there and break the insides out. That, that, that's not going to come out of there because that's a big chunk here. You, you work on that one. On the wire stuff. So guys, here's what we got out of them, right? You can see all those seeds and all that paper material. And I'll start those and then this spring we'll plant them. And my dad tells me that they used to just plant them out in the garden, just right out on the dirt and don't do anything to them and just let them grow and then once we make them and harvest them it'll take about a year or a year and a half for them to dry out so we can use them again which those if we don't put anything on them 
they'll last about two or three years. Um, you'll lose one all too long. Now you could sand them a little bit, knock the scale off, and then give them a coat, a clear coat, and they'll probably last four or five years. But we don't do that. We just make it as simple as possible. Just hang them up and let the birds enjoy. All right, so let's take a look at how simple this pole is. So basically, all they did was take a piece of rod. And you, as you can tell, it's not very stout. I can bend it. We took some small pieces of chain link and just tack welded it on the end. They drilled holes through the pipe, slid it in, and tack welded a piece of chain link on the other end. And that's all that there is to it. So let's get started tying these poles, these boards on this pole. close to the shed and we definitely don't want to be close to the trees or the martens we won't get in it and this is the worst part of the whole job I think Holly should dig the hole Minnie don't like it, she can't get to you. Mimi! If I take your collar off, you'll leave. And we won't see you for two days.
Man, I'll come back out here every time it rains with a shovel and pack that back down so it'll stay good and tight. Now all we need is some Martins. And they may not stay in it this year. Like I said, it took me two years to get them to stay in that pole out there which I have to take down and clean out the gourd. But well, we're not going to do that today. We're just trying to take it easy because we've been doing so much. Just a nice, easy day. So there's the final result, YouTube. We uh, we need about two or three more gourds. And uh, we just need some time for the Martins to find it. And hopefully some will stay in it this year. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.